The Cybertruck concept was launched in November 2019 by Elon Musk as a sustainable replacement for the US pickup truck, with Elon stating, finally the future looks like the future. So, is the Cybertruck the future for all mainstream US trucks, or is this just yet more EV spin and hyperbole? Let's find out. The launch date of the Cybertruck concept was specifically chosen as November 2019 and this was because this was the date set in the futuristic film Blade Runner. Tesla stated that their goal for the Cybertruck was to be a sustainable replacement for the circa 6,500 fossil fuel trucks that are sold in America every single day. The key focus being to replace the US pickup truck. Tesla has announced three models for the Tesla Cybertruck. And these are the Cyber Beast, which will be priced at around 99,000 American dollars, which equates to around 82,000 British pounds. The all wheel drive, which is priced at around 80,000 American dollars, which equates to 66,000 British pounds. And the rear wheel drive, which again will be priced at around 80,000 American dollars, which equates to 66,000 British pounds. Going through some key features of the Tesla Cybertruck, Firstly, and most predominantly, you can see that it uses a stainless steel armoured exoskeleton. And this exoskeleton isn't painted, so there's no need for any future paint maintenance going forward. Also, this is an armoured exoskeleton, and it has been shown to be able to withstand bullets at a very close range. Why does it have to be armoured? Elon Musk stated during the launch, well, why not? The glass in the Cybertruck is also armoured and this is named Armoured Acoustic Quietening Glass and this glass was designed to withstand a baseball travelling at 70 miles per hour and class 4 hail. Now why you'd want to test it with a baseball travelling at 70 miles per hour I don't know quite why they came up with that test but the initial launch they tested this by throwing a steel baseball at the car and unfortunately the glass broke so at the second launch they used a normal baseball but the pitcher wasn't exactly Joe DiMaggio and I don't believe he was thrown out at anywhere near 70 miles per hour and class 4 hail I guess because they have really big hail over there in America which does a lot of damage to the bodywork of cars. The wheel covers on the Tesla Cybertruck are designed to be very aerodynamic and very special however they have caused problems more on that later and they provide between 5 to 10 percent improvement in efficiency. The maximum payload for the Cybertruck is 1,134 kilograms and 1,897 litres of lockable storage. Of the three models launched, the Cybertruck, the all-wheel drive and the rear-wheel drive, the all-wheel drive has the largest range on a single charge and this is 340 miles, although this hasn't been proven to be very accurate. More on that later. The flatbed storage area of the Cybertruck has integrated power outlets for 120 volts and 240 volts and also the battery pack for the Cybertruck can be used to power a home if in the event of a, of a power cut for example and it will provide 11.5 kilowatts of power to your home. Of course being a Tesla most of the functionality is going to be hidden behind touchscreens. So in the front you've got an 18.5 infinity touchscreen and in the rear you've got a 9.4 inch touchscreen. You also have the additional option of what they call buying a base camp tent and this base camp tent affixes to the back of the Cybertruck and acts like an awning to the rear of the Cybertruck. It doesn't really provide you any more coverage I guess it will provide some sort of protection against the sun and certain rain elements as again if you're if you're having some sort of event like a barbecue etc or if you're camped up for for whatever reason although why you'd be camped in the Cybertruck I'm not too sure but it will provide some some vein of protection but this is called the base camp tent. The Cybertruck also has a very innovative lighting system with the front lights being able to light up to a distance of 525 yards. If you're enjoying the video so far please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for our channel and if you like our style of content please think about subscribing. Now back to the video. So I'm sure you're really waiting for the performance figures of these three different models, the Cyber Beast, the all-wheel drive and the rear-wheel drive. So starting at the Cyber Beast, the Cyber Beast will accelerate from 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds and has a maximum speed of 130 miles per hour. It has a battery range of 320 miles on one charge and this can be extended out to 440 miles with a battery extender. However, car and driver and motor trend performed their own real world tests and they found respectively that the Tesla produced a range of 250 miles and 224 miles. So 
quite a drop down from that 320 miles. The all wheel drive model will accelerate from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds and has a maximum speed of 112 miles per hour. On a single battery charge, it has a range of 340 miles and this can be extended out to 470 miles with the battery extender. The rear wheel drive model is the slowest of the three released and this will travel from 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds, has a maximum top speed of 112 miles per hour and a range on one charge of 250 miles and there's no option for a battery extender with the rear wheel drive model. Now I've been talking about this battery extender, this range extender and invariably what that looks like it is about the size of a toolbox and as the name implies it's an extended battery set and this will fit in the cargo bay of the Cybertruck and this takes up quite a bit of size and is quite a weighty item so in effect it in itself produces inefficiency because of it providing extra payload to the weight of the truck and it's believed if you choose the battery extender it's not easy to put in and take out so it's not something that you can just add into the truck when you feel like it for a long journey I think you either option at the beginning when you buy the truck or not. If you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection, Rich Reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar. We have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via a message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. Going through some known issues of the Tesla Cybertruck, and this is the key important stage really of the video, the known issues, and then later on we're gonna talk about the customer issues. I've already detailed the situation during the very first launch of the Cybertruck, where they tried to throw a steel baseball at the glass to prove how armored it was, and it actually shattered the glass, so that wasn't a very good test for them. And then in the second launch, they changed that to a normal baseball, but they didn't exactly throw it with, with the 70 mile per hour velocity, in my opinion, that it's supposed to be able to withstand. Now, one of the key known issues of the Tesla Cybertruck is the accelerator pedal, and this is where the accelerator pedal can get jammed on the interior of the car, obviously going up one hell of a rate of knots and one key owner only managed to save having a serious accident by jamming their foot on the brake pedal to counteract the acceleration with the accelerator pedal stuck down. Now Tesla, fair play to them, they only heard about this on the 31st of March and they performed a recall on the 4th of April to resolve this issue. Now one of the key well-known issues that's been well documented with the Cybertruck is the varying panel gaps that you get across all the range of the, of the Cybertrucks. Tesla have stated this is due to the spring steel quality of the stainless steel and when they're trying to spring this metal into shape it tends to try to spring out a little bit so they have to bend it further past their folding point um, so that it springs back into the actual place and it, it's very very hard to get it to be absolutely perfect all around the Cybertruck so you have these varying panel gaps now whether you believe that to be a fair enough excuse I don't know but stainless steel definitely does have a certain spring quality to it so it must be very hard to form especially with these very large panels that they use. There's also a known issue with the aerodynamic wheel covers that are implemented on the Cybertruck and I alluded to this a little bit earlier. Now the issue is that these, these very aerodynamic um, wheel covers they will provide between 5 to 10 percent improvement in efficiency but the trouble is the way how they're designed they push right up against the tyre. Now of course when a tyre is rolling forward and it comes under load it it deforms and it flattens out. In the section where the where the wheel covering is at that particular point, it pushes against the tire and causes undue wear and tear. Now Tesla must have known about this issue because when they designed the wheel covers, they designed the end perimeter section of the wheel covers to be rubber. So that obviously deforms a lot better than plastic and a lot easier than plastic, but it's still a known issue. So Tesla are now providing all Cybertrucks without these wheel covers. They're gonna redesign the wheel covers and issue them at a later date. Another cosmetic problem that exists with the Cybertruck is with regards to this armoured exoskeleton, this stainless steel armoured exoskeleton. Owners are saying that this is rusting and what Tesla are saying is that it's not rusting, it's because it's got iron deposits through its travelling. So, you know, whatever the owners have been doing with the, with the vehicles, it's picked up some iron filings in the stainless steel and that's actually what's rusting. So it needs those iron filings to be removed. And I know personally that you can remove those with clay in a car. I know that you get them in normal paintwork on a car and it does show up as sort of iron bits, little bits of iron rust on the car and you get rid of those by clay in the car. So I think that's probably 
probably true what Tesla is saying. It's just iron particles that have got stuck in the stainless steel exoskeleton. There's been some very damning reports of owners of the Cybertruck when they've been putting it through its paces. Now, Elon Musk famously stated that Cybertruck is the best off-road vehicle ever. But this isn't really shown to be the case because people have been caught out in all sorts of sand, snow and rain situations where the Cybertruck has just given up and failed. I'm now going to go through some customer complaints that have come forward. And these customer complaints have been backed up with video footage, so it's quite damning. Just as a reminder, Tesla stated that the Cybertruck was supposed to be the best off-roading vehicle in all terrain. Yet in the small print, apparently it says that drivers and customers are supposed to be wary and more extra careful when it comes to terrain such as wet sandy or slippery so how is it the best off-roading vehicle ever for all terrain yet it can't sustain or you've got to be extra cautious on terrain such as wet sandy and slippery that doesn't quite add up here you can see some footage of a Cybertruck going through like a ravine section a river section and when it comes through it just goes into like a hissy fit and there's like an epileptic fit and just totally conks out and won't go forward and another one here there is of a Cybertruck caught in a sand dune and it has to be pulled out by a Ford pickup truck there's also some footage online of a Cybertruck being pitted against a Ford Lightning in a drag race and this, this is the Cyber Beast in Cyber Beast mode and it's supposed to be able to do 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds yet this Ford Lightning is giving it a right thrashing. There's also online footage of a Cybertruck that's only covered 350 miles when the brakes failed and the airbags failed to deploy before the Cybertruck hit a lamppost. That's not good news. In another example, a customer had a stone hit the armoured windscreen glass, again the key word there being armoured, and it shattered the whole windscreen. Eventually Tesla came back with a quote to repair and to replace the windscreen at $2,000. Finally called me back. You may be wondering why. Here, let me show you. The other day I was driving, something hit my roof and cracked a big old portion of it. Look at this. And you can't get them fixed anywhere else. He told me there are no quotes in the system. This has not been done before. He has to call the factory, find out where the glass is, how much the glass is, if it's available, when it can come in. So all that before I can even get a quote. Spoiler alert, I do. While I was making this video, the quote came in. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm probably gonna have to go through my insurance. This is a big piece of glass. And here we go, $2,000 for just a roof that's supposed to last a very long time. Now that's not Ferrari money. Ferrari money could be around £3,000 for the single windscreen of glass, the OEM windscreen of glass, but that's still pretty expensive for a Cybertruck. There's also been an article released in a very well-known newspaper called The Guardian, and this article states the issues that customers have been having with the Cybertruck in all terrains such as sand, snow and dirt. And of course they've quoted the fact that Elon Musk stated that this is the best all-round all-terrain vehicle. Yet, of course, these customers have been having problems with their Cybertrucks in just normal terrain such as sand, snow and dirt. That's not very good. And the Guardian newspaper is a very big newspaper in the UK, so that's very bad publicity for the Cybertruck. It's been stated that the release of the Cybertruck and the issues relating to the Cybertruck have had a massive detrimental effect to the Tesla company, with shares dropping below $150 by the end of April. And this has in effect wiped out all the profit for the previous year. This has led to Tesla laying off 14,000 people from its workforce. That's around 10% of its global workforce. That's a hell of a layoff. On top of this, Tesla has been hit with individual and class action lawsuits due to the allegations that the semi-autonomous software has been causing some serious fatal accidents. I'll just leave you on this final note. Tesla has asked its shareholders to vote in favour of Elon Musk's new pay package of $56 billion. A judge has now rejected this, stating that it is an unfathomable sum.